that we actually started in this space in 1941, moving across the street. We actually have a picture on the wall up there just for our customers' edification because some of the customers actually you know, still come here from that period. You know, they remember my grandparents and great-grandparents and so on. And of course, we put our story up on the wall for them while they're waiting. A lot of people love reading that because they see all the multiple generations uh, of how we did our work and when we did it. When the digital era first came onto the scene, you know, almost all the photographers didn't know what to make of it. We slowly started to realize that the way things were was going to disappear very fast. And our customers started coming in doing things that we weren't even doing. They'd be online making books and they'd be creating little scrapbooks online or posting pictures online for that matter. We weren't even doing that. So you have two choices to make. You either sink or you swim. This is an old adage, but you know what? That's what you have to do to survive. This wonderful uh, machine and, the, and the, its beautiful product has inundated and obsoleted everything we did in the past. It's actually turned us into a new studio in a new direction. With senior pictures, people have posted them online for years, of course, or they presented a proof folio where the proofs are in there with a price sheet and so forth, and you can look through which picture you like, and then from there you'd order. Well, I thought, you know, what can I do with this to bring a, another level up? And so what I was able to come up with is utilizing the kiosk along with the 502, I was able to make a senior book. This girl's gonna go around to all of her friends and have something that nobody else has, and they're gonna all envy her, and guess what, in the, in the end, we'll get more business because of that. You know, here's this international company, very large company, they produce a good portion of the market share of lab equipment that's out there, and they'll still listen to me. I'm just a guy, a little photographer here, in Salinas, California, they'll listen to me about suggestions I have about their equipment, and it happens. But the fact that they even listen and they care enough really uh, makes a, 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 a big selling point for me. So you can't ask for more than that. That is the way to have it with any kind of company.